concept paper. The objectives are first, determine what is a concept paper. Second, examine the process of accomplishing a project. And third, find out the structure of academic research. What is a concept paper? Concept paper provides an overview of the project. It is a plan of something on how it works or the process of doing things such as project, business proposals, summary of what the project was all about, and etc. It can help us to make things easier to do. It is a guide through creating a fabulous idea that can improve our imagination in how things should go in their way. Concept paper help us to have knowledge on what is the process of paper works, projects, business proposals, research paper, and etc. Concept paper is very useful in student projects and people who are making their plan on business or other things. In this topic, we're going to learn in how is the concept paper in project and academic research work. A concept paper has several uses. First, it is the foundation of the full proposal. Second, it helps determine whether a certain project is attainable or not. Third, it is used to get the interest of a potential funding agencies. And the last, it is used to get informal feedback on the ideas due to preparing the full proposal. In short, concept paper is a preliminary document for proposal. It shows a preview of the improvements that the person would like to implement. There are three ways in explaining concept. First is definition, the second one explication, and the third one is clarification. To define, to illustrate. And then the second one is explication. It is a method of explanation in which sentences, verses, quotes, or passages are taken for a literary or academic work and then interpreted and explained in a detailed way. The last one is clarification. It is a method of explaining in which the points are organized from a general abstract idea to specific and concrete example. The parts of a concept paper. Concept paper usually ranges to 500 to 2,000 words. There, there are two outlines of a concept paper. The first one is the concept paper for a project. Use the following structure when you want to propose a certain tangible project. First is cover page, second introduction, third rationale or background, fourth project description, and the last is project needs and cost. So first is cover page. Cover page includes the name of the proponents and their affiliations, state the personal data of the proponents, and state the date of submission at the head in the certain project. The second one is introduction. Introduction present what the topic contains all about and why they need to support the project. The third one is rational or background. State the importance of the project and what is the problem that needs solution. The fourth is project description. Project description state the goals and objectives of the project, timeline expressed in months and year, benefits and the possible outcome, and then state the methodology. 
The last one is project needs and cost. State the outline of the main budget, the description and amount, explain how the budget will be used, and list the personal or equipment needed for the project. So that is the following structure that need for you to make a perfect concept paper for a project. The second one is concept paper for academic research. First, title page, background of the study, preliminary literature review, prob fourth, statement of the problem or objectives, fifth, a bridge methodology, the sixth is timeline, and the last one is references. So the following structure of concept paper for academic research is first is title, title page, state the proponent's name, school, the title of the project, and the date of submission. The second one is the background of the study. Background of the study provides the current state of the field you are researching on, the knowledge and problems to be addressed by the research, and state your preference or the previous study that can prove your claims, the reason why you want to investigate that topic. Third is preliminary literature review. It provides theoretical framework or related literature that supports your topic. The fourth is statement of the problem or objectives. It states the general problem in one sentence, then it also states the objectives and questions. Fifth, a bridge methodology. A bridge methodology provides a data analysis scheme to be used, data collection procedure, instruments to be used, and the participants of the study. And then, next is timeline. Timeline provides a set in months and year how the project will be accomplished. The last one is the references. Provide the list of all books, journals, and other resources cited in your paper. The guidelines in writing a concept paper. First is cost and methodology should be reasonable. Second is the budget, methodology, and timeline. Third, use statistics and figures when discussing the rationale for the project. Fourth, use no more five pages or single page excluding the cover page. Do not overwhelm the readers with details. Fifth, never request funding for planning the proposal. Sixth, adjust your language to the intended readers. You may use technical terms of readers or scholars and scientists. However, refrain from using jargon when your target readers are lay persons. The language should be appropriate for the person who will read your proposal or anything that are related to projects. And then seven is include the overview of the budget if it is required. If not, then skip the budget section. In place of this, you may simply include the type of support you may need such as personnel, travel and communication, and equipment. Number eight, be sure that basic format details such as page numbers are incorporated. And the last one is cite your references.